What we're looking at here is pretty much a standard framed two-car garage that's conventionally framed. This is not a truss roof. Roof rafters will be individually cut. Along, you'll need to install some collar ties and some rafter ties along with some strong backs. Now, this is the most common method, but you're going to see a variety of different things. You might only see one strong back in the center. You might see one, two. You might have one kind of over here and one over here without this one. And uh, sometimes these are going to be raised up a little bit. Sometimes these are going to be spliced or lapped, I should say. Instead of a regular 20-foot 2x4, you might have two 12-foot 2x4s nailed together and lapping in the middle. Uh, and you, you could actually have a variety of different uh, um, connections, too. It's not uncommon to have a strong back, for example, with a 2x4 running up to the roof rafter, something to give it a little extra strength. And they're usually 4 foot on center. The reason why I'm making this video is just to provide you with a better idea of how these buildings go together in case you are planning on assembling one or if you have one already you already have one built and you're thinking about storing stuff in your attic in the in the attic of the garage and I see this a lot and that's actually the reason why I'm making most of these videos leading up to it I had an email requesting some more information on this type of roof system and what they could do to beef it up to store some stuff up in their attic so again remember these rafter ties are meant to are meant to connect the rafters together to prevent the walls from spreading out in the center or bowing out and the, and the ridge sagging. Now the next video I'm going to make, and I'll put a link here, is going to provide you with a few things that you should consider before storing things in your garage attic.